Hi, I'm Alessandro Gangelosi and that's new uh, tip tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for uh, Modo Cookie. Um, this time we'll take a look uh, at the uh, shader tree uh, to create uh, a very simple uh, but useful ground shader, something that can be used to render terrain and uh, uh, something like that. So um, I I just created uh, a plane, a very simple plane using the pen, uh, the pen tool, and uh, I created a very simple material group, uh, and I call it uh, uh, terrain. Uh, uh, but you can use the name you want. Uh, so you see, I just used uh, terrain. And let's create uh, another new item, a mesh, and let's call it uh, sphere, just to have a simple mesh uh, over the terrain. Okay, something like that. Let's move it. Uh, it's not important uh, how it would be used. And let's go inside. Uh, the render and uh, for the moment we can't uh, we can use uh, the GI so uh, please go inside the global illumination let's select enable for the indirect illumination and uh, for the moment we can use the the basic value and uh, you can select uh, the direction of light and uh, please uh, set 7 degree for the sprayed angle to have uh, some interesting uh, blurred uh, and area light, area shadows, sorry, there. And uh, <clears throat> let's go there and let's see uh, how we can work on the, on the shader to make it uh, similar to a ground shader. So let's go back there. And let's start to work on it so that's our shader let's select the material and we can use uh, a brown color for the diffuse let's set 100 percent for the diffuse amount and we need uh, a low specularity for the moment and we can use a very high value for the rackness let's use for the moment 75 percent and that's all we can use the basic uh, value for all the other things uh, let's start to add some layers and uh, we start working on the on the uh, diffuse uh, map so I click on add layer and let's select noise okay and you see we are using the noise in the window and uh, the preview render and we can use uh, a dark brown color for the color one and uh, something lighter for the color two so you see how it's changing let's use fractal and let's use six for the frequency to have more detail and we can use the basic scale and all the basic parameters just to have a basic layer for the uh, shader uh, diffuse color then let's add a, a new uh, layer for the diffuse, so add a layer and let's select cellular map, so you see uh, we are using the cellular map at 100%, uh, let's go inside the noise and for the moment let's set opacity at 25% and let's leave uh, the blend mode to normal, let's go back to cellular and let's use it at 100% for the moment. Oh, sorry. Let's use it at 100% and let's set uh, a lighter brown for the cell color and a dark brown uh, for the uh, fill color. Uh, Let's use a uh, type round, so you see what we are doing. 
and set a width uh, 10% so you see we are creating some little dots over the terrain let's close the layer uh, rollout and we can set 60% for the transition so we we have more uh, more round dots over the surface and let's set more frequency let's try with five okay and let's set uh, let's try with one for the frequency ratio uh, is too low let's go to 0 0.5 um, 0 0.2 okay let's use uh, let's try with 3 okay we have a lot of detail uh, uh, and let's use this setting um, now we can go uh, inside the layer and we can check using uh, uh, for example 30% I'm sorry let's go back inside and let's use 10% just to check it okay so let's go with 30% uh, so we have uh, the previous map and the new map and uh, we can try to use for example uh, let's see with a multiply and uh, with an higher value okay something like that so we have also this one and we can use a more visibility uh, for the basic value and let's close it so we have a basic uh, diffuse layer and some cellular uh, noise inside it over it let's go back inside the material editor add a layer noise and we use another new layer for the uh, diffuse color and we use a dark brown for the color one and uh, a light brown for the color two something like that okay let's set it uh, let's leave fractal for the type and let's use a very high frequency uh, like 15 then we can close the layer and we can use uh, 2.0 for the frequency ratio and 0 0.5 for the amplitude and we change the bias and the gain let's use 70 percent for the bias and 80 percent for the gain so you see we are adding uh, some area uh, some little uh, lighter area over the the shader and let's use uh, lighten and let's use 50 percent so we have uh, some differences over the surface uh, let's check this one and let's try to use 85 and 55 okay okay let's continue to work uh, on the diffuse layer and we can add another new layer uh, using a, another noise and we set it uh, using uh, something similar to uh, a color between a light brown and a yellow for the color one and a dark brown for the color two a very dark brown okay and let's use turbulence for the type let's close the layer and let's use a very high level for the frequency something like 15 and we can use the uh, the full value for the frequency ratio and the amplitude ratio and then let's use a bias higher 75 percent and 70 percent for the gain and then let's go inside the texture locator and let's change the scale of the sides the map sides let's use 30 centimeters and 30 centimeters for the uh, zeta axis let's go inside the layer rollout and let's use 10 percent opacity and we can leave the normal uh, 
the normal blend mode for the moment and maybe then later we can work on the opacity of the other layer to find the best configuration okay let's save our scene oh sorry deliver match model tip 3 and we have model tip m3 okay now we can start working on the displays layer so let's go inside the material editor and let's uh, select add layer and let's use a noise and we set it as displacement and uh, we set it to turbulence and then we set frequency to height and we leave uh, 2.0 at 0 0.5 for the frequency and the uh, amplitude uh, let's select the material uh, sorry the, the shader the material and let's go inside the other panel and let's use for the moment 20 centimeters for the displacement let's try to to see how it works and you see we have the displacement at the moment okay uh, let's go back inside the material editor and let's use uh, another layer for the displacement so add layer and we can use uh, let's use a fractal uh, add layer uh, noise and let's set it to fractal and let's use 4 for the frequency 2.0 uh, for the frequency ratio and 0 0.5 for the amplitude ratio and then uh, let's use something like 40% for the bias and something like 90% for the gain and you see we are creating something like uh, holes inside uh, the terrain uh, let's try with a minor scale uh, something like 20 and 20 okay and let's go uh, there and let's set it uh, as displacement and you see that we have the holes over the terrain let's select the texture layer and we can use for example uh, let's check it uh, let's try with divide and we can use fifth sorry uh, again in the material editor we can use something like 50% and we have the 100% there and let's select the material and let's try to use an higher value uh, for the displacement something like 45 centimeters okay uh, you see that's the actual uh, final result and uh, I'd like to check it again for the displacement uh, let's try to see how it looks without the, the old layer okay and let's try with a very uh, low level something like 5 let's try with 10% uh, maybe we can change uh, using a uh, let's see uh, the differences to make it more visible and let's try with 20% okay it seems interesting as final result and uh, now we have to add uh, the bump so let's add a new layer and let's use a cellular map and we can set uh, type to uh, round 
35% for the cell width. Let's close layer. And 85% or something like that for the transition width. Uh, let's use a very high frequency. Uh, let's try with 70. And frequency ratio something like 10. And 0 0.6 something little more for the uh, amplitude ratio. So you see we had a, a lot of cows. And let's use an higher value for the bias, 80%. And let's leave 50% uh, for the gain. And we have to scale it. So let's go inside the texture locator and let's use something like 35 centimeters and 35 centimeters okay let's say uh, to the map using the left mouse button that uh, it will be used for the bump layer and we can close the preview uh, viewport and we can go inside uh, the scene and we can select the environment and let's use physically based daylight let's select the light and let's set our physical sun set to on okay let's move a little just to see more more terrain something like that okay and let's save the scene Let's check uh, the render uh, setting and let's use uh, 400 for the frame width and 300 for the height. And we can use a more higher, an higher value for the anti alias. Let's use for the moment 32 samples by pixel. And let's render a test. You see, it's very, very uh, fast and we are using the, the displacement and the global illumination and the physical sun and physical sky and you see that uh, the terrain shader is not bad it's very simple and the result is quite interesting you can change the result using different uh, value for the uh, the displacement for example or change uh, the diffuse color okay uh, so uh, for the moment for this tutorial tip tutorial it's everything and uh, I hope to see you again on uh, modo cookie to check new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com thanks